The lights are different. Do we look different? You guys are so lit. <laughs> Everything is lit. different in here. Yeah. It's like things have moved I know. around. It's like the space is shrinking. You're not You'll supposed know. to You'll point know. it out. You're I not know, supposed to so, point it out. It's so weird because usually Neil and I can't see people. It's like we're on like a stage. Right. And it's like now we have to look you all in the face and it's weird for no, us. No, it is. We That's prefer. Horrible. I'm sorry. Like we're we're stars. We are. <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah. Like you don't look directly at us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, knocking us back down to earth. <laughs> there you go. So tonight is a producer Scott pick. <laughs> it is. Uh, U H F. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic, classic movie, up there with The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> with Michael. Uh, <laughs> Good thing I wasn't didn't wasn't taking a drink right Citizen then. Kane. <laughs> Rosebud. Rosebud. Uh, Godfather Two. Yeah, Godfather yeah. Two. Apocalypse Now. You uh -huh, know, uh -huh. I really like Godfather One. I I love Godfather Two, but Godfather One that one's more like my comfort movie. Oh, interesting. Godfather II. That was kind of weird. It scale up this kind of scale up. Scale up. Oh my god, I love scale up. Scale up. It's going to be one of those shows, people, that Caleb skipped over <laughs> Godfather 1 and went straight to 2. So, anyway. But before that, hijinks. Before all that. Um, I don't know. Do we say anything about anything anymore? I don't even know. Nah. Nope. I don't say anything about anything. All right. We all just right. go directly into talking about ourselves or cheering. Well, um, then I guess we're going to say hello, everyone. And hello, everyone. thanks for being here. Um, and we're going to recognize you at the end of the show. So you better when you're stick all here. Around. So yeah. You got to stick around for that. Yeah. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Pull up some couch. Cheers. Mm, mm. I feel very refreshed. Uh, that's good. We're drinking liquid peeps. We just that's put good. peeps in a blender, Ew. and we're just drinking it. Our favorite. Our fave. Mm. Our favorite. Peeps to peeps. So, um, yeah, it's well. You know, we I usually say like it's Friday night. Welcome, all that kind of fun stuff. We but did that. We kind of did that already. Yeah, we did that. We we um real we kind of came to the conclusion that Weird Al's movie UHF was on the <laughs> same tier <laughs> as uh, some American classics. Correct. Okay, Correct. so that yeah. means. It's time to move on. What did you do? <laughs> what did you <laughs> the do? Past two weeks. Um. Um. um, um <laughs> Of course, a lot of our shows are back. Mandalorian's back. Yellow Jackets is back. I'm not caught up on anything. So, I mean, I've seen some, but I'm not caught up. So I can't can't talk about it, but I'm happy. I'm happy that our shows, some of our shows that we love on this program are back. Um, I watched a very interesting horror film uh, called Sator, S-A-T-O-R, Sator. Um, it was really good. It tipped a lot of like my my boxes of things that I like. We're in the woods. It's kind of folky. Um, it's one of those, you know, you don't want to say too much about it, but it's on Shutter. But if you like the woods, if you like isolation, if you like um, things that go bump in the night out in the forest, folk horror, antlers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're in the right place. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's my my humble recommendation and not too long ago over on the genre junkie podcast we reviewed um how to sell a haunted house by grady hendrix we've interviewed grady hendrix before fabulous human being and how to sell a haunted house is so good yeah it is so good and i wept i wept i cried at the end and neil was listening to our episode and caleb listens as well and he was like wait i had to stop because i kind of want to read this book <laughs> And so, like, that, like, I won't hold you to that, but the fact that you even said that yep. means a lot. Well, it means a lot for the book, but it means a lot also for your podcast. And for me as as a friend, <laughs> as a twinsy, <laughs> yes. it means the world. Yes, thank you. Yes. Well, thank you, Scott, for doing such a great job describing the book. <laughs> but I think for Grady, I, I'm halfway through the final Girls Club, so... 
I've been halfway through for a while now. But, That's okay. <laughs> but it's, I've read two other books since then. It's not a race. Yeah, no. Same thing with uh, any books. I told Neil, like, I just, like, love when Neil reads a book. So I'm like, you take your time. You take your time. I just want you to do it. <laughs> Me reading a page is an accomplishment. <laughs> so I actually read, yeah, I read one book. And then um, I read two book. <laughs> one book, two book. <laughs> and then I read that cat book you gave me. So, because yes. we anyway, love cats. We do. <sighs> that sounds good. Uh, so I over on Hulu. Hulu. Uh, I watched Piggy. <gasps> finally. I heard good things How about um, Piggy. I enjoyed it. The ending lose a little points for the ending, but mm. overall. Uh, if you don't know, it's about a, a young woman that is being bullied, basically. Yeah. Uh, and it takes place in Spain, so it is a Spanish language movie. Cool. Uh, but I did enjoy that. Um, I can say now that we uh, we watched John Wick Chapter Four. I don't think I brought that up last time. No, you did not. But uh, oh yes, you told us personally. I think tons of you have seen it already, but uh, we we did get to see that. Uh, an advanced screening a few weeks ago. So I uh, rather enjoyed that. And then finally, 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 I watched my boys in Studio 666. Uh. I bit the bullet. <laughs> I bought the Blu-ray. Did you so cry? I have a, just so I have a cry. I didn't cry because it's wept. pretty silly. <laughs> well, I know, but with, <laughs> but, you know, with the you know yes, there is, yeah. there is definitely a sadness, you know, watching them have a lot of fun. And then knowing that in just a few, and it's been a year now since Taylor died. So has it been a year? It's been a year, yeah. Wow. Um, so it, it was sad. I did sit and think about like, oh. So anyway. Yeah. Wow. Um, you did mention though that John Wick is a very long film. <laughs> it is a very long film. It's it's almost three hours once you yeah. tack on the trailers. You'll be there for a minute. It's a lot of wick. Long it's a wick. long wick. Yeah. It's a long wick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that wick burns a long, burns. long time. <laughs> it's a lot of burning wick. It's like a it's like a twenty eight hour candle or something. Jeez. Uh for me, um, you what know you? as you guys know, this is like this is my sad time of year. Worst time of year for Neil. Yeah, not happy. I'm I do not like the springtime. I do not like. <laughs> I do not like April. Do you like the chirping of the birds? <laughs> the whole thing. The tree outside my, my backyard starts turning green. All these things that make me depressed. <laughs> so I do not like it. Uh, but, um, I, so yeah. So I rely uh, on a little help from my friends more often now. Perhaps you know I might. I might Listen. text a little more incessantly. I might you know, give me a little help. Well, and it's because but, we like the spooky season. Yes. Now, if you say, I like spring, summer can fuck right off. <laughs> but spring, I do like going to do baby animals mm. and the little plants. It's See, for special. me, I don't like because it's like, I know that I know how much long, you know, there's still so much time ahead of you to deal with. Yeah. At least in summer, you've knocked three months out, right? You're in the home stretch. So you're kind of like getting yeah. there, yeah. And but. in the winter, it's still spooky. Yeah. I just like and it, luckily, though, producer Scott, conversely, this is his happy time of year. So it's okay. I will, I'll take that one. <laughs> Daylight for. savings time is my favorite day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does oh. not like the darkness. Wow. Ugh. Losing that hour of sleep is not cool. Not um, all it's right. one hour on one night all for right. nine <laughs> months of I joy. I still don't think I've adjusted. Yeah, exactly. Just saying. Nope. Uh, I am watching a show called Letter Kenny. And I talk about it often-ish because no one else I know has watched it or even knows about it. Caleb knew about it because he was listening to a podcast and upon which, was it Edward Burns? No. Edward Norton. Norton. Edward Norton. Edward Burns. <laughs> like he's done anything in years. Yeah. I don't even know who that <laughs> so is. Edward Norton <laughs> mentioned it uh, and apparently thought it was really Loved funny. It. Yeah. So my wife and I have been watching it and it's like right. a half hour long comedy uh, from Canada. And it, it's hysterical. And I wish someone else would watch it so I could talk about it with someone because it's literally about these Canadian guys that are just sitting around talking all the time. But their accents and the, the things they get into, and it's just, it's bizarre and it's hysterical. So if you watch it, reach out to Neil. Yes, please. Because he needs the friendship right now <laughs> and wants to talk about this show from Canada, Canada, America's Hat. So now Mark, or Mark, excuse me, Todd209 says he's seen it and it's a great show. Thank you, Todd. All right, so From the mouth of someone Todd. has seen it. And we all know if Todd says, 
<laughs> then it must be true. So excellent. Um, I recommend, guys. It's on Hulu. You can watch it on Hulu. There's like 12 seasons, or really short, like six or seven episodes. Uh, really, really fun show. Good for Neil. Um, I got tickets to see The Cure in May. That's pretty exciting. That's really exciting. I'm excited for that. I'm going. And then um, I get to go? I, I'm hoping you go. But um, did I, I just did really, I get it? Did I win? Really, really cool was uh, Robert Smith, the lead singer of The Cure. He wanted to make sure that I, it wasn't usually the, the ticket master shenanigans that happened for oh. like Taylor Swift concerts where all the bots buy him up. So he like made everyone register ahead of time as a Cure fan. And you had to go through some special site only on your phone. You had to do it from your phone. Couldn't do it from a computer and to do it. And so I went through all the trouble and did all that. And then my, when I got in the queue to buy the tickets because you had to get in the queue and then once you let you on. If you got there in time, you could get your tickets. And then, right. of course, I got there and I picked up my seats. And it's like, error, could not process your order, the whole thing. But oh, no. I, after three attempts, I finally realized, I went online. I'm like, what the hell? Why am I getting these errors? And they're like, try resetting the cash on your phone. And I went and did that. And then it worked finally like the fourth time. Anyway, Damn. I got them. So that was cool. Did you call but Bob Smith? I did not. I like Bob Smith. That's, the cure. that's actually my uh, father-in-law's <laughs> name is Bob Smith. So, not the same person. Not, not the same one. That'd okay. be really cool. But um, um, the reason I kind of bring this up was that it was really cool for Robert because then like a week later, I got an email from Ticketmaster saying they're refunding a $5 per ticket uh, and I have Robert Smith to thank for it. <gasps> so I'm like, and, oh and they weren't even that expensive to begin with in the realm of concert tickets. So right. I was like, thanks, Bob. Damn, Bob, you really came through. Yeah, that was really nice of you. Um. Other than that, very long-winded thing, um, cult film series in April mm -hmm. that's coming up uh, this upcoming Thursday, the April 6th, and we're doing Natural Born Killers and a movie called Heart and Souls, um, which is a very, very lesser seen Robert Downey Jr. film. Uh, and then on the 20th, Jackie Kong is back in the house. Woo! Jackie of, Kong. Friend of the cult. Friend of the cult show. Uh, we'll be doing The Being and The Relic. So if you want to watch those movies, you got to get here to the Roxy in Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, and you can do you can do it. You can buy tickets and you can come and watch these movies with us. It can be done. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if there's a will, you will have the way. <laughs> and that is this it. Is the way. Um, this is the way. This is, this is the it. Way. And other than that, real quick, um, merch, 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 merch. We have some folks that bought some merch from us, and we want to say thank you very thank much you. for that. Absolutely. So we ha we had Nancy Y. Um, why? I don't know, but she bought some merch. Uh, she <laughs> bought a Creep Variant hoodie. Thank you very much, Nancy. Thank you. Our good buddy, Mark. Mark up there in East Washington got a trucker hat. <gasps> and so cool. Mark chose a movie for us to watch. What? Uh, so, Crazy Mark, we'll have that coming up soon. That's so, that's so cool. That we haven't really had cool. one of those in a while. No, it's been yeah. a while. So, Mark, thank you so much for the yeah, support, really, my friend. Really and enjoy that trucker hat. That was my that was, insistence. Yeah, oh, Scott <laughs> that was, was like, my I insistence will die that on that hill. Yeah, you're all like, oh, trucker hats? Who the fuck wears those? Well, I actually Scott do wear a trucker Mark. hat on occasion. <laughs> but, yeah, but, I mean, Scott was like, and I, I feel like nobody was actually really fighting him, but he's like, well, no, trucker hat. We're like, it's fine. You can have you it. Might, you have it. for a fight, so, yeah, we sort of, like, play fought with him you know? that's right <laughs> slap slap boxed him a little bit you know pretty much uh and then of course laura actually laura bought the colt show tea thank you laura yes appreciate yes. it laura that was really cool that's awesome. and then we had a sarah w hi sarah got a classic tea and a creep variant tea two Ooh, teas those were two yeah. good choices wow. very good. good choices yay so, i also yeah. really love that creep variant tea i love Nailed everything great we have, job yeah. on that yeah thank you but it's all winners it's they're all, all winners. they're all great so yeah. um don't forget, you guys, if you want to send us your pictures of you wearing your stuff or maybe you put your stuff in precarious positions. I don't know. Put your <laughs> put it on your dog. I don't care. But this is as long as you keep your animals safe. Um, and then send us the pictures <laughs> either at info at the culture dot com or through Instagram DMs. Yeah, Caleb. Mm -hmm. And then we will put them on the show if you give us the OK. Um, and it was funny because when Neil told me that, like, oh, some like new folks bought some things. I was like, did they buy them to burn them in protest or? <laughs> Let's hope not, I guess. If you do that, show us that too. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, film it. <laughs> Hashtag show us your merch. <laughs> you burn us in a pile with Ouija boards and tarot cards and stuff. We might get on Good Morning America. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> might be worth it. 
No press is a bad press. Anyway, thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks to everyone. Thank you. You're the real ones. We want to thank our day ones. People who buy our merch. All right. Shall uh, we? Let's do it. Let's talk about... Okay, welcome to tonight's feature presentation, a discussion of 1989's UHF. And I'm sorry if I call it different things. I cannot, I want to call it UFH, I want to call it v, F, the VFW, VH1. it is UH and F. 1989, directed by Jay Levy, uh, Jay and Al wrote this film together. What's it about, you may ask yourself. <laughs> An unemployed visionary becomes the manager of a local television station. The station becomes a success with all sorts of hilarious sight gags and wacky humor. Oh, but it's not all peaceful at UHF. <laughs> there is the big television man down the street. He's out to get our intrepid heroes. Um, RJ. 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 There's something in this basement that is like making some of us like itchy and like there's like a spice in the air or something. I think it's, it's like I think ah! it's some of the hot sauce. I think it's like dried th hot I think sauce so. became aerosolized. I, I, I think, think maybe there's some oh dried God, stuff in that towel. Itchy. I think so. Neil's yeah. sneezing, <laughs> Caleb's coughing, I'm like <laughs> rubbing my face. Um first time view for this reviewer. First time, long time. <laughs> um Producer Scott picked this film. Producer Scott picked this film. So that's who you have to thank or not thank, as the case may be. Um, I'm just going to put it to you, put it to you straight people. Um, this was not my film. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it what? didn't. I'm not saying it didn't have its moments. It did have its moments. And there's definitely some parts where I lolled. And so I kind of made it a point to write down, like, parts where I lulled because I was like, hey, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to beat up on Weird Al here, but um, yeah, it just was not for me. And um, during the film, Kelly, friend of the show, Kelly, we love Kelly, texted me, said, how are you doing? I said, I'm watching a cult show movie for the week. <laughs> oh, what is it? UHF. She said, oh, the movie all the straight boys love. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't even. I don't even know how to reply to that. Oh no! So, um, apparently, that's known. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> it means what it means. No. <laughs> You know, uh, you know how they say like, "Hey, remember that? You know, you know that movie that you loved as a child. How, how does it feel being bisexual now, or how does it feel yeah. being gay now? Yes. It's like, how does it feel being straight now? Yeah, <laughs> that's the one with the mummy. <laughs> the Brendan Fraser mummy was a lot of people's queer awakening, and it's like, oh, you like the mummy? How's it being gay now? Yeah. <laughs> All in good fun. All right, thanks, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I will be mostly just pointing out the parts that made. Me laugh. Oh, okay. You're not going to take us through the uh, the action as, uh, if you should call it that? Would we call it action? Um, <laughs> the narrative of the film? Well, sure. I mean, we will. You know, it's, uh, but everybody give your, your first Oh, impression. okay, okay. Yeah. I want to hear what Sky has to say. Right? Uh, yeah, this was Scott's pick, so. Okay, it's actually been a long time since I've watched this film, but I love Weird Al, and I love Neil and my shared love for Weird Al. So I wanted to do it. I wanted to punish Sandra a little bit because I thought she didn't like it. I didn't realize that she had never seen it. I guess I punished her anyway. Um, I laughed so hard in this film. Cried I, twice, I believe. I, I do a thing where I will lose control and I can't breathe because I am laughing <laughs> like in a silent kind of like, it's hard, hard to describe. I did it multiple times in this film. I think it's just, it's stupid, <laughs> hilarious, movie it's it, it's the kind of humor in airplane and if you if you like that kind of humor you will love this film if it, that's not your kind of humor then yeah i this might not hit for you never seen airplane ah okay what? Well, you probably uh -oh. won't, you probably won't like it what so, someone's You've gonna never pick seen it now airplane? <laughs> 
Uh-oh. Hey, you pay the money. He takes your chances. <laughs> I but might I'll tell pay you the, the money. I, I think he'll just pick it on yeah. his next. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. So. You me? Uh, go ahead, Kel. Go ahead. <laughs> to okay. me, to you, to me. To you. All right. So uh, I saw this in ninth grade at Empire Cinemas in, in uh, oh Werner Park. Oh my God. And at 15 years old, I, yeah. thought, I thought this movie was genius. I quoted it lots. I thought about it, you know, for a while, but I never watched it again. That's the thing. Mm. So, you know, I'm not 15 anymore. No. My tastes have changed a little bit. You yeah. know, like I used to hate bananas, but I eat bananas <laughs> a daily now. You know, daily. I used to avoid tomatoes like the plague, but mm. I avoid. I mean, I eat them now, <laughs> not daily, but. Yeah. Um, and I think my comedic tastes have changed you know it's and it's not to say that i didn't laugh there were some things in it that you know i I chuckled a bit at or or just straight up laughed at um what i did appreciate about this movie though because i want to make it clear that there were i'm not just going to shit on this movie the attempt that what makes a good parody is their attention to detail and the little attentions that they did like the way he rubs his mouth when he's looking at the idol during the raiders of the lost ark um section or 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 the the commercials that they do are just like spot fucking on of of like these shitty commercials we used to see as as kids and he did that brilliantly so yeah yeah i agree um yeah so i have nostalgia on my side you know i watched this like at the age we were when it came out in the theater my grandmother took me to see it she lived in pacifica california um and i remember us staying there for like a week probably and so she took me to see this movie and um my grandmother was a very cool woman. Um, she always supported me in my weirdness and my, you know, like my that. special effects stuff. Like she knew that I loved the horror movies and the special effects, and she would always, you know, take me to the makeup store and let me buy me like latex and all this crap that I was not mm-hmm. really suited to use properly. But anyway, um, so I have good memories from that. I have the memory of just I love Weird Alex Scott. Said I've always been a Weird Al fan. I used to listen to him on my little itty bitty freaking radio i don't know if it was a transistor radio or what but it was like a little teeny thing i listened to dr demento show and hear weird al on it um so it started like way back then and you then, and producer scott have seen weird so al together we have seen him together yes um i mean it's you know so i had that love i have the nostalgia and i yeah i mean i hadn't seen this film it'd been uh, probably a couple years at least you know and i i still laugh i still, still thought it was funny there's things i didn't remember you know that i that had me chuckling and I, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just, I think it's a fun, good, and like Scott said, it's a stupid humor that I absolutely love. So, and I will, you know, I will. You, you will die on that hill. I will, <laughs> I will, yes. I mean, it, yeah, like, like he said, it, the airplane slash, you know, maybe even airplane two humor. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, you know, yes. So anyway, it's, it's, I don't know. I think it's a rip roaring good time. So notoriously. People have said that I um, hate Weird Al. (laughs) That is um, a grossly exaggerated rumor. Weird Al as a person, I think, is a lovely, really cool, funny, interesting person. Um, I loved, loved, loved a few years ago. He was on My Little Pony as Grilled Cheese. (laughs) Do you, Scott, you remember? He was so... Oh. fucking funny Chef's kiss. yeah he was so funny i think he seems like just like a lovely interesting creative person i'm just not a big fan of like parody music um i have to say amish paradise and white and nerdy are a couple of my favorite hmm. jams see it's Am- funny because for me mm-hmm. it's the first three albums like i love his but again those are the ones i grew up listening to sure. when i was young and you know? then what's the one that I like, Scott? The alternative polka, is that what it's called? Yes. It's like a remix where he does a whole bunch of bad word songs and it's great. It's his it's his polka remix from Bad Hair Day, which is alternative polka. Mm. I liked that. Which, which <laughs> fun little tip, most of the songs in that in that polka I was first introduced to in from that Weird polka. Al. <laughs> that was me in in uh in, in the album, the second album, um uh, Weird Al in three D. He did the polka at the end that had all the mashes of all the songs. Actually, yeah. I think it was the end of side one. Anyway, um, <laughs> for me, it's the same thing. It's like the first time I'd heard most of those songs is probably in that polka. So that's anyway. really sweet. So um, Al, Al, his name is George in the film. He um, he keeps getting fired from jobs, and he unfortunately brings his best friend down with him. Uh, they've been through so many jobs in a month; it's really rough. 
Um, turns out, uh, through a series of misadventure, he becomes the manager of a of a little community broadcasting TV station, UHF. The UHF and station. He brings his bestie with him, which is really sweet. Um, then Nanny works there, which is like <laughs> really interesting. She's always going to be the nanny to me, Fran Drescher. Um, I have in my notes. The whole arm falls off. Oh, that would be when he's imagining that he's Indiana Jones. Right. I like that part where he attacks the guy and the whole arm falls off. <laughs> he, wh and he, he whips him. Yeah, and they just like <laughs> runs away. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's how the movie starts is with that. Parody. Exactly. The opening of the film with the Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark parody. Yep. Uh, George is a dreamer. However, he's also a really lame boyfriend. He <laughs> really sucks at being a boyfriend. Don't worry. He's going to go on a journey. He's going to grow. He's going to learn. He's going to learn a lot from this experience. Um, and it's, it's a redemption story, people. It's a redemption <laughs> story. And I think it's actually really sweet how Bestie, what's his name? What's Bob, Bob. 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 How Bestie really takes to it. And it's kind of like. like he's oh, really good at it. Yeah, and it's like, kind of like he's accounting clearly or? like a hardworking, smart guy. Yeah. And it's like George just fucking drags him down yeah. at every job they go to. Yeah. Um. So, you know, it's actually kind of sweet that like Bob, I don't know, he's like in there like crunching numbs, dividing by X, carrying the two, <laughs> all this to try right. to, you know, find the money. Uh, so, out of money in a week. Out of money. Yep. What are we going to do? Yep. It's very much kind of like Caleb and my relationship. <laughs> whereas Caleb's like the star of the show, and I like you dragging him down and getting him into trouble for everything that we do. Yeah. So, you know. Like maybe that's why it, it rings. <laughs> what are some other parts that you really like? Okay, I will say, I will go on record. I'm going to say it out loud so you guys can hold me to this. I will eat the Twinkie Wiener sandwich. Mm -hmm. I will. I will. I will take the Twinkie. I will cut it in half. I will put a hot dog in the middle of it. I will put the cheese, cheese in a can or whatever yeah. that stuff is. This is even hard to hear. I will do it. <sighs> I think it would great make a, a fun little segment. Will you dip it in the milk? Almond milk. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that was a bridge too far. <laughs> that was a bridge too far. All right. Well, especially but considering it was like rancid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, milk right. that had been sitting out. Yeah, not not that milk. That's been sitting out since 1989. <laughs> it's been a while. That milk is that milk is a solid. It's no I longer think you liquid. should bring it back. I think it should be a trending challenge on the Tiki Takis and the Reels and the YouTubes. I'll do it. I'll you totally should do it. it. You should make I mean, it a won't thing. Kill you. I don't. You know. The I have only a thing I like out of that those three things are yeah. hot dogs, but I'll still eat them. <laughs> I mean, Twinkies are good. You know. They're, they're going to, you, you don't kind of need to be embalmed when you die after you eat them. I think it would but... be some good, good short content that we can <laughs> add to our, <laughs> add to our channel. I bet Michael would do it with you. <laughs> no. You do it? Don't Michael do from it. the studio? In a Twinkie yeah. as a in, bun. Inside of a Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. right. See? Michael's Why good. Why not? Okay. Why not? People did the NyQuil chicken. That's right. Well, that's just dangerous though. <laughs> Our studio audience will do it. Then why not? I'll cheer you all on from the there side. There you go. Uh, so one of the things about this film, like Scott was saying, that I think is fun when you, when you get into that humor-like airplane is all like in the Raiders of the Lost Ark sequence, which is the opening. He walks into the tunnel where he's going to find the idol. And then like he walk in and there's a bunch of road signs, do not enter, turn back, you know, severe tire damage, like all those kinds of things. And those are those kind of funny things that Scott and I at least appreciate about the film is that it's, you know, it's stupid humor. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <Billy> laughs. <laughs> chortle, 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 chortle. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> From the funny. Which cheeks, Caleb? <laughs> From the lols. From How the about lulls. the boulder chasing Al? And he's like, it comes out and then it chases him through like all the, like, the Hollywood, you know, and like the Eiffel Tower and what was it through Egypt at one point and it right. just goes following him around but it's like it, like it's incredibly fake yes. as it's, it's chasing him through like just a, you know right what was kind of gross though is when it finally runs him over <laughs> it's awful and it's like a weird owl skin suit <laughs> <laughs> that turns into a sizzling hamburger patty Ooh, it was disturbing <laughs> as he wakes up from his dream <laughs> the yeah. skin suit thing was kind of weird though 
You'd think I would like a skin suit, but not today. I know, right? <laughs> not today. Um, my next favorite moment comes from the dog and the punch bowl. Um, when he's trying, well, it's just really funny when he's just trying to feed the dog punch out of the little <laughs> from the ladle. <laughs> yeah, and like punch is one of those things that's just automatically funny because I don't think I've. I don't know that I've ever had punch in my life anywhere, but it's like in a lot of old movies, it's like, oh, the punch. Oh, we have to make the punch, and then we have the punch bowl. Well, you've so never, it, oh my God, really? No, I mean, I think I've had like sangria, you know, like right, in the no, bowl. Right, no, but no, that's a, that's a but Like that red thing, punch from like movies. A, a, a church after dinner thing, or a school function. Oh, that's my function, problem, yeah. Or a, go to yeah, church. no, that used to be, well... Yeah, so I don't know. Punch but is you inherently get the, funny. You get the Hawaiian punch in a can where you had to do the two openings in the metal. Oh can yeah, and then yeah, then you'd pour it all in there and you'd mix it all up and then you maybe you'd throw some Sprite in there too to get a little. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, Sprite, geez, you know? <laughs> After church, you devil. <laughs> Okay, wow. okay, okay. I like yeah, it. We're, we're getting wild. They were getting wild, wild the... out there in the in the forest. <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, so yeah, I, it punches inherently funny, and <laughs> and then he drops the poor dog in it, and it's like it's kind of it's kind of like a toss, a little toss. It's just sort of like someone calls him, and he yeah, just like, yeah, oh, just kind of like nope. Oh. Toss the dog in the punch. Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. So not too long after that, we're taking over the, the station, is when we start to see the commercials, which are definitely, I think, some of the highlights of this film. And we start out with the used car salesmen. <laughs> yes. Club a seal for a better deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, very funny. And I'm also thinking... <laughs> I'm also thinking... Where did he get the seal? <laughs> I don't, he got it from an animal trainer. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> Like, no, but again, that we saw so many used car or just commercials yes. where they had a bear, they had animals, or yeah. they had a lion or it's, a tiger, or a, you know. It's yeah. like in um in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka, the the original one. You know, with her the Sam's used car lot here. Violet Beauregard's mm -hmm. dad is a used car salesman. So it's that kind of like seventies, eighties mm -hmm. used car salesman, polyester, big cowboy hat. Yep. Well, that's yeah. we we had Cal. Here, remember, uh, mm -hmm. from was he in Sacramento? I'm not sure where he was, but da 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 da, go see Cal, da 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 da, go see Cal. <laughs> Did you guys remember that one? Don't copyright claim us, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> Cal's probably long gone. He got eaten by a bear. <laughs> 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 yeah. But he always had a big animal in yeah. the ab with him. Yeah. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah. What an asshole. Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Poor animals that don't want to be there. I'm but sure. then we also got Spatula City, Spatula City. And that was the other Spatula thing they used City. to do was repeat it over yes. and over and over again. Yes. It, it would always come in like three or fours. You know? yes. I do have Spatula City down on the list. Very funny. Very funny. And then they would always put in there, you know, we buy direct from the. You know, the so we can pass the savings on to yeah. you. Yeah. Like they always had to. And put then, like that the president there. of the company or whatever, <laughs> sitting there, like giving it an, yeah. an yep. endorsement. Yeah, yep. like was... I said, it's those small attention to detail that you're like, well, the spatula yeah, see, that is a classic. First of all, I mean, like, I mean, that, that's one of the things that <laughs> yeah. this movie is remembered for. Right. Like when you go look it up, you know, you'll see a lot in of the you know. Smithsonian. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! Library of Congress is a big banner hanging in there. Buy nine in. spatulas, get a tenth for a penny. <laughs> Open till midnight. Oh my god. Spatula actually, City! Spatula City! You know what I was thinking of is the poor people that have to fucking work at the spatula store till midnight. Oh my god, how painful. Um, you know what? I think this, I honestly think this movie, like, I would have loved it if it was just all commercials. Yeah? Because they're funny and clever and mm -hmm. silly and irreverent. So that's, yeah, I also feel that this movie was a little bit before its time. Because if you broke out those segments, that's basically like a TikTok. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like a TikTok. You know, these are just like strung together. This is a bunch of TikToks strung together with a kind of a story. <laughs> kind of. There's a story there. There's a guy named Philo who does. I like Philo. Laboratory experiments in a TV station. I know. I like that. He's that makes just like perfect taken sense. Over the entire yeah. <laughs> front room when you walk in with all his, yep. his green lab. glowing vials of. Who knows? What. And he's teaching people to make plutonium. I liked that. Yeah, yeah. I liked that he's <laughs> that a good. fucking alien and disappears at the end. I thought that was really, really cute because he was funny. 
Yes. <laughs> As he is fat. So in my head canon, he's a Transylvanian. Like from from, from transsexual? From planet, from, yeah, from okay. transsexual oh, Transylvania. I love that. Oh, it's actually great. a sequel. Okay. I love that. Let's do that. Cool. What else you got? So Kevin McCarthy. He's a bad The guy. beloved Kevin McCarthy, right? He plays R.J. Reynolds. Yeah, he's the bad guy of the competing network TV station in town. Channel 8. Yeah. Yes. And he's, I, I think he does a fine job of uh, being an over-the-top PG-13 bad guy. Yeah, antagonist, for sure. Kind of thing, sure. you know? So, I mean, it, it, he's funny. I mean, it's like just, he fires the janitor, right, Because for messing up his documents, throwing away his documents, and he just finds him, he's sitting on him. Yeah. He's like, ha, 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 you know? And like that, of course, you know, he's just... Laid out from the very beginning, he's just that a hole. A hole doesn't care about anyone. No, nope. money hungry. I wanted a Rolex. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it was a bit of a fit. Um, and his son. Don't forget his son. His son was. His son was funny. <laughs> his son, the eighties. Yeah, his son was. Dad. Like, yeah, I thought that was really funny because yeah. it was just so like, where the fuck did this character come from? So I liked that. Um, speaking of the janitor. Yes. I'll throw it out there. It's not. It's not. But you funny. can't hold it against the film, though, because well, it mean, happened twenty years I later. I can hold it against it because it's not funny. But it, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but that's like it, you know one of those things where it was just kind of funny because he came up. I've never seen this movie. He pops up on the screen, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> like the fuck. And I also was not a big fan of Seinfeld or anything. So like, I don't. I don't know the man's body of work, but um, I found him to be so fucking annoying. Ah, okay. Stanley. Okay. Could not stand him. I liked when he had his cathartic moment where he talks about scrubbing the floor and its life. Yes. I, I did like that part, but I found that character to just be like, oh my God, it was just grating. It was just grating on my nerves. No, I would agree with you in general that that character and that kind of character in a movie are never my favorite or and and or to me i wait for them to get off the screen very one tone very samey not funny uh oh i think Neil, i can't i i'm so sad that you're uh -oh. not with the me bromance on this. is breaking up no <laughs> it's just breaking up i loved him i uh, i said to the chat he was a better kramer than his Kramer. Than his actual Kramer. Things. Okay. And I thought he I thought he was genius in the way that he did it. There was like a there was a heart behind him, but okay. he was just silly and I, I love it. No, that. so what yeah. I'm saying is I'm not saying it about him in particular. It's that kind of character in general that is meant to be the heart of the movie. That is the uninteresting character to me. You know what I mean? To me it's more about the, like to me, for me, it's more about the guy in the cowboy hat. And he's like, "Take that ridiculous thing off!" And the guy takes his mustache off. That was very funny. That's funny. That's funny. that's what I like. That was unexpected. Yeah. I mean, the character of the Stanley Spadowski, you can apply him to any movie. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the character I least gravitate towards because it's, it's least interesting to me. Dare I so say he like brought Spinner? the film down? You didn't like Spinner and in, in uh, Death Smoochie? That's different, though. That's kind of different. Very emotional different. Heart. No, <laughs> that's different. That's different. No, I, like I, I really think that's part of what made me not enjoy the movie was that character. And oh, his, okay. He's just like, you know, like the scene where the mob guys want to kill him. I wanted to kill him. Like, <laughs> See, I no, I thought that, that was kind of funny. Just do it. I thought, just do it. There, I thought he was kind of funny when he's just like, you know going on about everything and he's, he's mentioning, hey, my blindfold fell off. <laughs> you might want to come put it back on. I mean, <laughs> that's, that was kind of funny. So, uh, so see? Yeah, I, I liked when he saw his mop and was like, oh, my mop! <laughs> so there are parts of him that I like, but in general, you know. <laughs> and I know, I, you're doing good. You're doing so good. My blood fell off! <laughs> See, it's funnier when you guys say it. <laughs> there was a clown it. in this show, and oh, you got a little okay, unhappy. That was, that was funny when the me. clown comes on screen, and okay. Sandra just like lost her damn mind. Because who, no one <laughs> warned me that there was a clown in this film. But it was Bob. It was Bobo, the uh, clown. I really just, I even said in here, why, Bobo, why? <laughs> but it's funny, he gets a fry. Let's, what do you say? Let's introduce Bobo to the frying pan, or whatever, and gong, and then. Start shoving dog biscuits in his dog mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's what a clown deserves. <laughs> we're being honest. Mm -hmm. But no, no Bobo. I'm going to pass on Bobo. Hey, you know what's funny? 
Noodles the cameraman. Because we, we know who that is. We do. <laughs> who is it, Caleb? Uh, Billy Farty Barty. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Billy Farty Barty. Enemy of Jackie Kong. <laughs> If you go back and check out our Blood Diner episode, Jackie Kong worked with Billy Barty. She got some good stories about him. Yeah. But uh, I like that his name is Noodles. <laughs> that was just so random. Poor Noodles. He gets, he gets wronged by yeah, the... He gets treated so bad. By oh, a Channel does. 8 news his, crew. He gets his revenge in the end. He does. Well, you know? that, and that's the thing. That's like... It's a very 80s thing where everything just works out perfectly. All if the underdogs. If you're a good person. Yeah. And if you're a bad person, you definitely get yours. All the underdogs get to, like, rise up. And I know it's a very Weird Al thing. Um, well, you know, and I liked, like, for uh, the nanny. She, um, <laughs> you know, she wants to be taken seriously and she wants to be in broadcasting. And, you know, she has to stand up to the sexism and all that. It's very, I, I enjoy I get what he's doing, okay? <laughs> I get what he's doing. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. The guy you didn't know, Emo Phillips. So yes. Scott and I saw him. He was open for Alice last time. He was a comedian. Uh, the guy that did the woodwork. Oh, he was fun. He was funny. Yeah. He was funny. He was funny. Emo's been doing it for years, but uh, e- is it E M O? E M O. Yeah. So what did he do when you saw him open for Weird Al? Similar. Yeah. That's him. That's who he is. That's how he talks. That's how he acts. So he just like kind of did a stand up. Yeah, yeah, stand up. But like, like one of the things that I remember from like the eighties was he's like, and you guys know Emo feel like he's kind of like, one day I was out listening to my parents talking and they didn't know I was there, and my mom said to my dad, "See, I told you he'd live." <laughs> it was like it's like <laughs> it's like that funny. kind of humor yeah, yeah. he does. You know yeah. what I mean? He has and this that character. Voice, yes. Yeah. So. It's like that kind of thing, and that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good. So and he, that's and, a damn fine so, emo. You like that? Thank yeah. you. But I was uh, proud of right. Neil. No, no, it's, it's, please, good please, good that's job. okay. But he, in this one, he does the same thing: cuts his thumb off and the wood thing, and right. just does the whole. I don't know. Yeah, he's very funny, and, and it's like the wig is horrifying. And I don't think it's a wig. I don't oh, think it's a wig. no! Does he still have that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I hope it's a wig. Emo, please tell me it's a wig. I don't think it is. I don't know. Uh, now I'm wigging out. <laughs> I can't stand it. Um, and then another commercial I loved, uh, Plots Are Us. Yes, that was yeah. a good one. That I was that funny. Too. There was something about, like, they give you a snack or something. <laughs> a salad bar? Or salad, salad bar. salad bar. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I make sure you try our salad bar and, like, target a discount. <laughs> yeah. Funeral homes and, like, arms and legs are sticking out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Plots Are Us. Good times. <laughs> um, Beverly Hillbillies video. Yeah, I could so, have done without that. No. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Skip it. Cut it. Get out of here. If you're a fan like I am, like Caleb is, like clearly Scott is, no, you're not a fan of uh, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits? I was in 1986. Oh, okay. <laughs> you left, that in, you whatever, left that in ninth but... grade, too? <laughs> I still love that song. So uh, it was. I had to ask. I would much rather listen to like Walk of Life. Oh, they have yeah. better songs? I'll take them both. Oh, they got no, it's Dire Straits. It's just yeah. a different song. No, exactly. They have better songs. Um, yeah, I could recognize the melody, but I couldn't place the song. I was like, okay. Neil, who is this? And he turned on me, rounded on me. Dire Straits. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. The video, it was one of those, again, it was one of those things at the time because the video uh, for Dire Straits was involved uh, computer animation and then they would like, have the uh, live action stuff with the, I'm going to call it the rotoscoping. They probably must have done with the lights around their heads and everything that they're singing. And then they, you know, they parodied that very well. And it was, you know, Oh yeah. And it was fun. It was great. Yep. But you know, you did not care for it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the original version, the Dire Straits version, I would wait for the radio to play it. You know, KSRO when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, you want to hear it so bad. I want to hear it. Yeah. Play it. Play I, want it. Hear, I want to hear that guitar. Yeah. <laughs> guitar. I want those tom fills. I want. <laughs> I mean, it builds and it builds. Yeah, no, I know. It was... Did you ever call it in and request Probably, it? Probably, yeah. You know Sting. I do, you know, I do Sting. know Sting. Very, very, very like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Sting had a little bit. He's the one who did that. I want my, I want my MTV. It does. It does sound like That's Sting. Sting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I can do all the voices. Do you guys know no, that? I'm like, yes, I'm in the room. It's, no. a, it's magic. Gordon? Gordon's here? <laughs> I love it. That's lifelong dedication. That's why you can do that. 
Uh, what else you got? Because I mine's a little Terry's. Bit how about Terry's dress? I love Terry's dress. I stand that dress. The no. some people no. were Hard making pass. fun of that dress, and I was like, that dress is fucking sickening. <laughs> I love that. It was just a big pink yes. puffy dress. You had it right. Sickening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> Poofy big, shoulders. Big We're supposed to be on the same team. I know. Caleb. And normally I would be like, yeah, girl, I'll wear that with you. Let's Yeah, let's wear the dress. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. But not that. Ugh, no. <laughs> Fine. But she still doesn't deserve to be forgotten on her birthday. She does not. No. No. No one deserves to be forgotten on their birthday. Especially yeah. when you're as loyal as she is. <clears throat> oh, she's very loyal. I know. She's so sucky. And like, she's like a, a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. She's like working really hard. And he just like comes over and is like, oh, cool, let me like, eat all this mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, can I say something in defense of yes. George? Okay, she's very, very mad at him because he can't hold down a job. He finally gets a job that he's taking seriously and he's working extra hours and he's he's doing what he's supposed to do. And yes, he forgot he forgot a dinner and yes, it happened to be her birthday, but I mean, he's, wow. he's, he's improving. He's wow. becoming a better person. That's a he's, big one. Wow. That's a big one. No. You, Scott's even done. He's like, okay, I'm not like saying it out loud. Yeah. It doesn't sound. I cannot continue this facade. <laughs> I gave it to Scott on that one. Who, who is that? Who is that? Have you guys ever, experience. have you ever played Wheel of Fish before? <laughs> Wheel of Fish is pretty funny. <laughs> like, I didn't laugh out loud, but I did smile during Wheel of Fish. Right. Can I put it that way? Yeah. Sure. It's like like Wheel of Fortune, but you got fish on the you thing. And you, <laughs> you know what I did love is Raul's Wild Kingdom. Because, like, oh, good. aside from the animal abuse, that would be my show. I'm just in this small apartment crammed full of fucking animals. And I'm like, let me teach you some educational content. And it's like... Is this right? Is this safe? Should this be done? Mm, okay. Only I would never hurt the animals the way Raoul does. I don't approve of that. But I mean, just the idea of it was really funny. All these mm -hmm. little critters popping out of everywhere. It gets a delivery for more. <laughs> and it's like, where are you, you going to put them? Where are you going to put know. them, Raoul? I don't know. I think he cares. Wasn't there a show on PBS with like two brothers? Yes. What was that? The, the Wild Crap? The animated one? No. No, no. It was, the, uh, <laughs> wait. It, it reminded Kratz? me of that. It, it like it, it wakened a memory in me. Yeah, I can't remember it now. Was it from the eighties? No, it's from the nineties. Yeah, in early aughts. I'm not sure. Anyway, that actor's name is Trinidad Silva, and that this was his last movie. He actually he was supposed to be at the telethon at the end. But yeah, because he, he wasn't. He died in a car accident. So. Oh, bummer. Yeah. So that's really sad. Yeah. Actually, wow. the movie was dedicated to him at the end. Uh, so. We were talking. I, I didn't know. see that we're either. Like, Get me out of here. Yeah, I was like <laughs> bolting for the door. <laughs> and bye. Oh, we were holding Sandra back from leaving. <laughs> no. no. Zobumafu was the show. Zobumafu. Yes, okay. that's the one. Yes. Never heard of it. Never heard of <laughs> that I one. It was like Channel 9. I, ha I have that. I have Pile of Poodles for Ralph's Channel thing. 9 would have been PBS. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else you got? Radio Shack. <laughs> they had a Radio Shack. Oh my God, Radio Answering Shack. Machine. Remember those? <laughs> um, oh, two other programs I would watch, and I wish they. I mean, it was funny just to have a snippet of them, but I could have watched more of. Yeah. Is Conan the Librarian? <laughs> yes. That's great. And Strip Solitaire. That was that looked so funny. I want to see what Wonderful World of Flem is. I'm curious what that show is. I don't want to see that. No, no. Oh. I also loved his Geraldo Rivera yes. um, town talk, sex with furniture. And then there's one where he's like, he's like talking to Satan. He's like, "You're making me sick" or something. And throws something in his face. That was yes. that was really that segment was really funny. He's doing the whole talk show thing, and he's got like. What you, you got all these different trying to be shocking. horrible things on the stage. Yeah. He's got the, the little girl the fighting and, and the yeah. KKK guy mm. and he's got like a guy in a hockey mask with the, like with the axe yeah. Yeah. Right. kind of thing. And then he gets a chair thrown in his face. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's There's some funny it's stuff. That. Yep. There's also Gandhi too. I yeah. think that was not funny. Um, well, me. the only reason I'm bringing it up is uh -huh. not because I thought it was funny either. <laughs> That's the director. That's, uh, that's oh uh, Levy uh, Levy yeah. Jay Jay Levy Levy whatever for me. So who has yeah. yes. also directed many of, of Weird Al's music videos yes. and is also his manager. That's cool. Mm. So. Um, oh. I would have thought like 
Gandhi 2 would have been funnier if it was shorter. That was okay. like some of my problems with some of the segments. Same thing with Indiana Jones and um, that was the, the opening Ram- though. Yeah, and the Rambo one is I think it should have been a little shorter, a little sweeter. The Rambo one went on, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Then it would have just been, if they were a little tighter, I would have <laughs> laughed more. Ah, TikTok length. <laughs> sure, yeah. But you know now you can do like ten minute TikToks. No, so. I don't know what you can do on TikTok because I've never been on there. Yeah, no. you just watch reels on Instagram, which is the same thing. What I do know is, if you find a marble in a giant vat of oatmeal, you get to drink from the fire hose. <laughs> that okay. was all right. So all right, funny. I did laugh at that. That was one. funny. <laughs> the oatmeal part I didn't love, but the kid being so excited and he gets his little hat. Yes, That's funny. He gets blasted and then, and then gets blown the fuck off. The, oh my god! You know what's like weird about the oatmeal scene is like his parents were in there in the oatmeal too, and right. they're just like everybody's just like they look like Clayface from Batman. Yeah, That's funny. That's good stuff. So, so the 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 we'll call it the loose narrative that runs between all the scenes we're talking about here thread. is the, the thread. Thank you. Is Channel Eight the evil affiliate? Trying, getting upset that George has got the station elevating to number one in the area, basically. And so, of course, it becomes, oh, now we got to either buy the station or get rid of them or do something, blah, blah, blah. 80s, 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 <laughs> typical 80s, 80s, kind 80s. of thing. And, of course, they fail at the end. And RJ that. gets his, what do you call it? Not up and comments, but his <laughs> come up and Come up and Come up and <laughs> So you crazy kids. Uh, <laughs> You're up and coming. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> everything can be saved by a telethon. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's also a very 80s. <laughs> oh, a telethon's very funny. That's inherently a little silly and funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you could have gone to the bank and asked for a business loan. Could have done right, that. Like, saying, I have the number one television station. Yeah. Yeah. In wherever they're supposed to be yeah, yeah. uh can Give i have me a money. loan can i have a loan please yeah. <laughs> i also thought it was interesting that like they weren't just like raising money they were giving people like shares uh-huh. Uh-huh. and so i kind of took that to mean that he was trying to give back to the community because obviously um it's kind of rule it kind of feels like we're in middle america maybe kind of thing and you know there's the big mean guy doesn't like the the poors and mm-hmm. the working class country folk. And so, but at, you know, UHF, we're trying to invest in the community. Right. And like, it's, it's actually very sweet. It's actually yeah. very sweet. Yeah. Yes. Again, in hella owl, right? <laughs> yes. So vintage owl. Yeah. Incredibly vintage. And he likes a blueberry daiquiri. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Which he never takes a drink of. Nope. <laughs> and I think well. he doesn't drink in real life, too. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he does. Doesn't drink, doesn't swear. Now, the swearing, I just don't understand, (laughs) Al. You must swear, Al. That's weird. (laughs) That is odd. You got anything uh, in your deep diving? Um, So this movie was a commercial failure. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just throw that out there. As most great movies Um, are. And Orion mm-hmm. thought that it was going to be... Orion Pictures was on their mm. sort of on a downward spiral at this point. And they actually thought that this was going to save the studio. Oh, no! Um, so, this was their telethon. So it was. This was their summer picture. It opened oh, in shit. July. You know, and if you know that's movies, that's when you open your, your best. Yeah. So let me tell you what this sort of opened against. Okay. <laughs> this is exciting. July 1989. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, shit. Batman. Oh, come on. Lethal Weapon 2. Ah. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. Man, it damn it. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The first one? The first one. License to Kill, my <gasps> favorite. Well, no wonder I had no chance. When Harry Met Sally. Oh, people love that movie. And they Weekend do. at Bernie's. Shit. So this just like totally got lost no. in the. Oh yeah, that was in, bad. In the, that's a that's a lineup. Yeah, yeah. that's a what good... a killer year. <laughs> that what was just you... that was just the summer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a year of our show right there. <laughs> not not no Harry and Sally though. They can take they can kick rocks. They can kick rocks. Coming up next week, weekend of birdies. <laughs> oh my God, we just do like all the movies of 1989. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 
Wow. Yeah, remember that's... that year next time you say what's the best year for for cinema. It was definitely a, it's a contender. I mean, yeah. There's some good films in there, but it's like go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we play a game? Yeah, are we good, Scott? Do we cover it for out. you, Scott? You're happy? Yeah, up? Scott, as your pick, do you have any last Any final thoughts? I, I'm just so I'm so thankful that Sandra got to see it for the first time. I'm very sad that Sandra did not enjoy it, <laughs> but we'll just have to have it on in the house a few yeah. more times uh-huh. until uh-huh. until she loves yeah. it. Scott was actually pretty bummed that I didn't like it, and I'm like, "How many of my fucked up horror movies do you not like?" And he's like, "I like most of them," and I'm like, yeah, "I just didn't like this." Sorry. Well, but I, you- but we're here for Al. Al for president. Al for president all the way. Scott, you know my couch is always open for you when it comes down to it. So. You guys can just have a UHF slumber party. That's right. Yeah. Providing the kids haven't kicked me out and I'm crashing on the couch. So. Well, that's true. But <laughs> we will always go to Spatula City. Spatula City. <laughs> Spatula City. <laughs> Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's do it. We're going to play a game. Neil, introduce your game. What we're playing is a game called Revisionist Cinema. It's a game upon which we will be showing you some of your favorite movie scenes. However, the three of us will be reinventing, reinvigorating, reassimilating the audio, (laughs) the dialogue from these from these scenes <laughs> Re- <laughs> <laughs> provided our how about we're inseminating, <laughs> inseminating <laughs> humor into Hell. these scenes that works for me too look how cute we are it's so fucking <laughs> wow. precious I like, we are in this beautiful grand theater you God, like look at that we need an <laughs> usher in here it's so <laughs> big so the mark and todd so both are saying to keep it down in the theater they're not they're not happy about the talking in the theater <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay all right so the first film is 2001, A Space Odyssey. Okay. Neil? Yes. Uh, you are going to play the lead monkey. Lead <laughs> monkey? Uh, Sandra, always. you are going to play the 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 you know ensemble of monkeys. M- monkeys. And uh, Caleb, you are going to be the monolith and the cheetah, the everything else. Are we ready to go? And the monolith and the cheetah have dialogue? <laughs> because you will give them dialogue. Yeah. I've, ne- I've never seen this movie before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's mine. Stay away. Stay away from my kill. From my fresh kill. <laughs> Get away. Which? How do we know which monkey is Neil? Oh shit! Here we go. Get you. Step back. Step back. Oh, it's a lovely day out here in the hills of Beverly. Your life tastes very good, Kyle. <laughs> I think I shall invent fire. Okay, here you come, Caleb. Here you come. I, oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> Son of a... Uh, uh, tickle party! Goochie-goochie-goochie-goochie! Uh, I, I don't like I'm gonna being tickled. I'm gonna get you. Here I come. Just because come. I'm laughing here doesn't mean I'm having fun. Okay. Oh, uh, sleepy uh, monkey. Mm, feel the, sleepy feel monkey that sunshine dream. in my balls. Oh, it's got mm. sleepy monkey dreams. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. What's that noise? <laughs> hey, 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 you, hey. No, we're, we're still sleeping, hey, we're dreaming. Hey, we're trying to sleep over here. Shh, shh, shut turn up, Neil. Hey, turn that thing off. Don't you know it's Sunday morning? I sleep in on, what's that smell? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Wait, you smell too, man, God damn What's it. happening? What's all the ruckus what about? Why is there a commotion? <laughs> I don't know, look at this thing. What, what, is, what, that? Is, that? what is that? What is that? Here I am. <laughs> What's, what's the, the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? buzz tell, tell me what's, what's happening. happening. Oh, look at it. It's a big uh, vape. I, I think that's a vape. You man, smoke out of it. You, you no, can't park that no, here. No, no, 
I'm a domino. Uh, a domino. Oh, a domino. Yeah, Get out of here. We don't want dominoes in this cave outcropping. This makes me mad. You're in my backyard, fool. <laughs> but if you push me down, I'll knock over my other domino. There's no <laughs> other dominoes. You are dominoing incorrectly. Uh, I'm going to... I'm, sad. I'm upset. I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna touch you. No, I'm not no, gonna touch you. Don't Wait. touch it. I'm mad. Here don't go. touch no, it. Here I go. Don't I'm gonna touch you. Don't I'm touch gonna, it. I'll touch you up. Do oh, don't. Oh my god. Don't, don't touch don't it. Do Wait, it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. Get back. Get back. Get back. Don't make it. Wait. Wait. Get off me. Oh, is it hot? Is it cold? Wait. What's this smell like? Oh shit. Can I touch it? Like burritos. Can I touch it? Can I touch that? Wait, wait, no, let me touch it. Oh, it feels oh, great. Wait, no, that's okay. me. I'm no, no, go ahead. So, where do you no, smoke no, no. out of in uh, here? I, I like this. Do you put weed in it, or is it just like a tobacco thing? Wait, uh, a little higher up. Please. Okay, well, hold on. Please. Can I just, Please. can I touch it too? Really, yeah, everybody really touch it. Really, everybody really touch really it. You guys are concentrating on the Even the children end. should touch it. more erogenous zones. <laughs> Quiet, Domino. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a little hot up here. You're, you're looking it's a little. Jeans. <laughs> it's so it's hey. so cold. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking too. George. Yeah. Well, so what are we gonna do with it? I think we should just, put it in the just, backyard. Just, don't, don't, and just leave don't, it. Yeah. Don't. So there you have it. Okay. That's 2001. That's how Stanley Kubrick meant it to be. Yeah, that's actually from the director's cut. So have I seen the movie now? Yes. Yes, you have. That's good. basically it. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Yeah. It's like one of producer right. Scott's favorite films. I, I thought there was like space or something, but uh, no, whatever, whatever. No, that's a misnomer. That John Denver's full of shit, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Country roads take me to space. Okay. Uh, next up, we have um, a real good, a real feel-good, happy film known as Hellraiser. Yay! Right. Nice. My favorites. Kinky. Okay. Um, Very kinky. Let's see here, uh, Caleb. You are going to play the role of Kirsty. Okay. Uh, Neil, you are going to play the role of Pinhead. Oh, lucky. Oh. And Sandra, once again, you are going to be the ensemble of the other Cenobites. The other Cenobites? Yes. All right. Okay. I love them. I love them all. Channel my inner Never met a Cenobite I didn't like. A yeah, Cenobun? <laughs> nope. What? 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 <gasps> Oh, wait, my Legos aren't supposed to smoke like that. This bitch is crazy. Oh, wait, what? Ew. Ew. I think she's gonna see us in let a minute. Let me in, let me in, let me in. She's gonna come around the corner. Let me in. Hello, oh, I'd like to talk to you about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about your warranty and your Lord. You want a boat? We want a. Okay. Hello, it's me. I'm the chatterer. I'm gonna sing and chatter till my heart's content. My head's open in the back. Did you, I'm gonna put my fingers in your mouth. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're tasty fingers. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god, Pin it. Hey, hey, I didn't know there was a party. Why don't you guys knock? Can't you see oh, we're hey, busy here? What's happening in here? What what's with all the fog, people? We're having a finger tasting party. <laughs> well, don't you understand about the ongoing problem with smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Why I can't even see me, it's so smoky in here. Who's no. hot boxing this room? I didn't know there was a problem with smoking. What's going on with you people? The smoking I'm not the was people. the only room available and we needed to eat now. Yeah. I don't know. What are we going to do with this chick? I don't like her. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like where this is heading. I just kind of came in at a really weird part. Ooh, I like lamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> could, we, could we take the lamp and leave the chick behind? <laughs> hey, I'm getting you're, really you're sick of holding her. Oh, chattery tooth man. Don't stick your fingers so down she'll gag and then that'll make me gag i'm sick of her i'm gagging over here <laughs> you know what why oh, won't hey hey wait you son Stop. of a hey how's it going <laughs> i i i i oh, now I oh you guys listen to me i watched a show called letter kenny <laughs> Oh my god, all Pinhead talks about is fucking Letter Kenny. But, but, I, I but promise Pinhead. you, it's really funny. You it's, can watch. It's just you, Canada. Have you seen English? 
<laughs> you see the English? We all love the English. Look at us. Emily Blunt. Oh, so good. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Won't mess with me because I like the English a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what about if we had a podcast where we talk about some of our favorite shows? I'll tear your soul apart. That seems a little... Okay. So that's a Hellraiser. That's the remake. That's the one that came out last year. That's right. That was it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's more? Oh, there's more. <laughs> uh, next up for the cult show uh, players. Yes. Cult show players. Uh, we have a true story. Uh, this is the story of Jack and Wendy. Uh, <laughs> this is The Shining. The shinning. All right. Uh, Sandra, you will be playing yes. the role of Jack. Finally, a leading role. Uh, Neil, you will be playing the role of Wendy. Okay. And Caleb, you will be playing the role of Danny. Okay. Roll it. <laughs> I got a crush and a knife. Hey, right, Danny, why'd you put that lipstick down so loud? You woke me up. <laughs> Danny, what is this? How'd you get my dildo? Danny, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, a mirror! Ah! Oh, what's that hey, noise? Hey, it's me. It's your, it's Dad. A daddy's home, children. Oh my god, Danny. We need to get out of here. Oh, hey, I can I, walk. You guys, I'm looking for something, and I just need to get in this no, room. No, he's all pissed because we paid for Netflix again. He didn't want us to cancel. I'm mad. I'm, gonna slide in the bathroom. I'm mad because you turned on the heater, and I told you not to turn on the heater. Uh, oh, my God. Dildo goes in the sink. Okay, Danny, here's a window. Wait, that's not a dildo. That's a bread knife from the kitchen. Oh, shoot. No wonder it hurt. Danny. I'm going to keep trying to rip down this door. Okay. You know what? I'm, uh, Danny, hey Danny, you hold your father back. I'll get out. <laughs> Wait. Oh man, the extra you guys, cinnamon. You guys suck. You're the worst family ever. You made me go crazy in this fucking hotel. Hello, I'm here. I'm coming in the room. I can just open the door so easily. Danny, okay, Danny, th this window is not gonna hurt, oh, and you you're not gonna fall to your death. I promise. Oh, you're better not be trying to. Why do we keep having to go out bathroom windows? <laughs> what? You better not be trying to shove that Spy, kid through Danny. that window. Right. Is that, do I hear him sl No. Danny, 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 get the fuck Danny, back here. Danny, go get me a pizza. It's, Extra anchovy, Danny. It's cold. Wait, did someone say we're having pizza? Because I didn't get to put my order in. I would like uh, an extra large pizza. Danny, Danny, go now, Danny. Hurry. Get me the pizza. Danny, now, goddammit. What get was the, the order? You assholes are always ordering pizza without me. And it's not fair. What if I wanted wings? Uh, this stupid window, why can't I, why'd I have the extra cinnamon? Uh, I can't get out. Danny! Why is my family leaving through the window? I just want to have family pizza night. TGIF! TGIF! We can watch a program. We can watch Hulu! Do you want to watch Hulu? We can watch anything you want on oh Hulu! Danny! Danny, run! Go get out of here! Quick! Go Do you want to add breadsticks for a dollar? No, no, no! <laughs> Yeah, we do okay, want the fine. sticks. Rest, yeah. We do want the give, sticks. Give me the cheesy sauce. Can we also have barbecue to dip it in? I want a barbecue dip, and I'm just gonna have a pizza. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna go grab what someone called me it was a bread knife. I think you have my bread knife in there, Wendy. We need that to cut the pizza because what if the sizes are crooked? The slices, not the sizes. I said slices. <laughs> I, I I want my bread knife. <laughs> I'm going to just get in this door. Ah, oh, my God, Jack. Why do you hate doors so much? What doors? Do they do to you? I don't believe in barriers, Wendy. Just I don't believe in doors. Oh, stop, Jack. You're hurting that door. Oh, my God. Fuck this door, I Wendy. I painted that door myself. You what? know what? Ah. I think we need to talk Jack. about our relationship. We really need to talk. Jack, I'll cancel Netflix. I'm sorry. You said you would cancel Netflix, and you also ah, didn't no. cancel Disney+. Plus. Oh, my God. That poor door, Jack. We're paying for a BritBox subscription. Brit Jack, box, Wendy. Stop. <laughs> stop, Jack. Fine. You can keep the Disney Plus, for God's sake, Okay, Jack. what about Showtime? Are we keeping Showtime? Only until Yellow Jackets is over. We're getting <laughs> rid of it. <laughs> no. Okay, so do we have the app on our phone? Can we watch it on the phone? Let's watch it on the phone. <laughs> no, get out of here. 
Okay. Hand. Where's that kid with our pizza? I'm gonna cut you with my dildo. You stick your hand in there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ouch. Shit. Ouch. That really hurt. Where's that kid with my pizza? <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are finding this uh, amusing. Are you uh, not entertained? Chat, chat is definitely enjoying this quite a bit. <laughs> Todd with the WTF, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, next. stream unavailable, it said. <gasps> what? Get... Or Todd. Todd said something about stream unavailable. Did we get in trouble? Uh-oh. Are we in trouble? Uh, yes, we made Zardoz mad. We mentioned Scientology, but I'm not afraid of them. Um, we're not afraid of uh, Xanadu. We're frozen? Can you you can hear us, but we're you frozen? You can hear us, but we're frozen? Like Anna and Elsa and Olaf, we're frozen? <laughs> the snow goes wide for the mountain tonight. <laughs> Oh, you're just going for it. Yeah. <laughs> you're just going to piss, off, go. all, piss off all the studios. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Are, oh, no, wait. No. No, no. Not Disney. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It wasn't Disney. I'm sorry. That, was, I'm sorry. that was Don Bluth. That was all Bluth. <laughs> You'll freaking hear a helicopter above us and freaking men repel into our room. And I'll be like, take, I'll be like, take me away. <laughs> at gunpoint. Um, so we should probably M say. Mickey Team 6. We should probably yeah. say goodbye. We should probably say, we should goodbye. Probably say goodbye. Um hopefully you enjoyed the first what two and a half before we got before we got shut down. Yeah. I guess it was. Yeah. You know, we had fun doing it. Absolutely. So we were going on and on and on and having a great fucking time, not realizing that things were done. Um That's okay. We take risks. We try to have fun. So we're gonna be back on for sure the twenty yep. first. We're on spring break a little. Uh let's say. And you know who's going to be here? It's going to be Jackie Kong. We're going to have a fun time. Jackie Kong in studio. Yep. Talking about the being and other things that are going on in Jackie's life. And, It'll be fun. And filmmaking in general, I suppose. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Cool. Uh, so until then, I guess have what? Have a good uh, few weeks? Yeah. Have a lovely time. And we'll see you soon. Who's in the chat, by the way, Caleb? <laughs> well, thank you, Bobby. Thank you guys, you appreciate it. Okay. Goodbye one. Worst.